What's going on, everybody? My name is Kaim, and welcome to Plugged In. This channel is centered around tech, gaming, and how that may affect your lifestyle. Now, you can expect to see videos such as product reviews and how to's on a lot of things that I think may be worth your time. This isn't my main channel, this is actually my secondary channel. I do have a gaming channel that's centered around NBA 2K. If you like to watch that, feel free to check it out. The link will be down in the description. But this is my secondary channel where I like to focus on tech and a lot of the gaming world when it comes to that technology. So, I will be going over a bunch of different products that I think can be useful, teaching you various things, how to stream, stuff like that. But in this video, we are going over my 2023 setup and it's not my official 2023 setup. It's saying goodbye to my setup from 2022. I plan to make a bunch of different upgrades to my setup over the course of 2023. So we will have an official setup tour for 2023, but I wanted to show you guys where the setup ended for 2022. I'll walk you through everything that I use, what's on my desk, what kind of hardware I have. And I will also talk about the plans I have to change my setup for 2023 we got a lot of good stuff in store so let's go ahead and get right into it first things first i will talk about some of the stuff that is around my desk area and then i'll get into everything that's on top of my desk starting from left to right and then i'll save the good stuff for last of course but quick shout out to my girlfriend because my gaming setup is in our bedroom and i am very grateful for her allowing me to put my setup in this room because we only have a two bedroom and i don't have a dedicated room for my setup yet but that is definitely in the works so hopefully i will get my own room soon enough but for now it is in our bedroom and i do have my own little corner so starting things off on the left side of my desk i do have a couple shoes that i showcased that are in their own case i have some j's in this shoe case i got some concord some bread 11 and a couple pair of ones but moving on to my desk my desk is assembled using the ikea desk hack if you want to learn how to do this i have a video on the channel as well you can go check that i'll put a card above if you want to learn how to do the ikea desk hack it's a very useful hack it's just two ikea drawers with a ikea kitchen countertop on top and then moving on from the desk setup starting things off i have my elgato key light here on the left i have two of them i have one on the left side one on my right side this one is in a vertical format just to give my desk a different feel and to kind of point the light in a different way at a different angle moving on i got a lens for my camera i am rocking the canon m50 that is the camera i use whenever you see any any a roll shots i'm more than likely using my canon m50 i'm also looking to upgrade this camera i got a bunch of different cameras that i've been looking to get but this is a camera that i've been using for now it's like my first official camera so i do have two lenses for it i got the regular kit lens and then i think i have like a 22 millimeter lens that i'm rocking now it might be like a f2 or f1.4 i can't remember which one but if you guys are interested in anything let me know i will try to put links in the description for everything moving on from that my headset that i'm using this is the headset that i use when i am gaming i am rocking the astro a50s that is what i'm currently using i'm trying to see if i should upgrade to something else it's a new pair of steel series that came out i'm not sure if i'll switch from that but continuing on i do have my playstation 5 controllers on their stand their charging stand very useful so i can swap out controllers in between sessions and i don't have to sit with a cord at my desk area again i told you i'm rocking the canon m50 that is kind of mounted on this ledge by my window moving on to my mouse i am rocking the logitech g pro super light i might end up getting me another mouse for ergonomics when editing because this is more so on the gaming side of things and I do a little bit of PC gaming, but I think I'm probably just going to stick to controller when it comes to PCs. This mouse is for gaming. It's not for editing. So I might just switch up my mouse. But before we start getting into a lot of the gaming stuff, I am rocking a Gutsy Aiden mouse pad on the desk. I forget which one this is, but it's a like a black, gray and white camo. So shout out to Gutsy Aiden and shout out to Elgato. I love both of those companies so if you guys ever see this i love y'all products post-production time here i don't know how i missed the microphone that i'm talking into to make this video but i am rocking the elgato wave 3 microphone great microphone not to mention it comes with their fantastic wavelength software and it is sitting on top of their elgato wave lp mic arm which stands for low profile so it's more out of the way but carry on 
Moving on to my monitor, I do have my monitor on a single monitor mount. I am upgrading to a double monitor mount. So as soon as I get that, I will be able to mount my other monitor. I do have an 1080p Asus monitor, and I also have an LG ultra wide. If you see something white sitting on top of my mouse pad, that is my other monitor because I switched my setup around and I had to take this down because I wanted my Asus monitor to be on the stand because the big bulky Asus stand was just taking up a lot of space on my desk and I wanted to clear up some some space to put my stream deck underneath so i did that and then in the meantime i've just been editing and gaming on this one monitor so i have to put my lg ultra wide back up it's like a 27 inch ultra wide so once i get the stand to have both of those mounted at the same time i will have that back up so i can use that for editing and then having multiple windows open and stuff for obs whenever i stream moving on i do have a corsair keyboard i do not remember which one it is in particular but i think it's like the k55 i could be wrong if you guys want to know i will find it and put the link for it down in the description i am rocking the elgato stream deck this is also a very useful tool you can set up a bunch of keys to do practically whatever you want change scenes in obs when you're trying to stream you can use it for editing you can use it for a lot of useful things moving on after that i have my other elgato key light on the other side of my desk this is in the horizontal position to give me some light on this side after that is my ps5 that's pretty much my daily driver i mainly game on console if i am on pc i'm probably playing warzone but ps5 is normal normally what I'm on I have it in white definitely considering changing the side panels on that and, and blacking it out and getting black controllers I do also have a Corsair Virtuoso headset that I use to edit on my PC whenever I'm doing work on it but last but not least, man, moving on to my PC. This is what I'm definitely looking to upgrade. So my PC, nothing spectacular, man. I'm rocking a Ryzen 3700X, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a RTX 2060. So I definitely plan to make some upgrades. I wanna get my hands on the new Ryzen GPUs that just launched. So I'm gonna just have to change everything with the entire build. I did build this myself. So if you wanna check that out and learn or watch how to build your own PC, I'll put a card above for that video as well. But I got some Corsair fans in here. Also wanting to change the fans. I just want to make a whole new build entirely. So I want to get new CPU, new GPU. I'm not sure if I'm going to go Ryzen or Intel yet. I might go Intel and just get the new 13th gen. NVIDIA GPUs are way too pricey right now. So I might just still try to get the new RX. 7900 XTX and I got me a trunks pop figure on the inside it is cased inside of a Lian Lee land cool case I also have two Lian Lee cases in my closet I plan to either do two separate builds or just upgrade this build I was saving them for like a dual PC setup but I really want to build in these cases so I think I will take this build and upgrade it and I'll switch to the Lian Lee 011 dynamic mini and I'll do a new build in that and then I'll probably hop on the hype train and do a build in the height Y60 but for now this is what I'm rocking now in terms of upgrading the setup I already kind of told you guys what I want to do with the PC I need a new GPU new CPU new motherboard all that good stuff I'm gonna have to upgrade all of that I want to upgrade my new fans I want to switch to Lian Lee uni fans I want to get the new infinity joints and then I also want to change my desk setup the Ikea desk setup is pretty nice but you know sitting at your desk gaming for long hours and streaming it gets pretty tiresome and it gets kind of hurtful on the back and speaking of which i am just rocking some gaming chair off of amazon i don't know what brand it is but it's just a gaming chair off of amazon nothing too special but i do want to change that to an ergonomic chair and i also want to switch my desk out for a standing desk i do want to get rid of these ikea drawers and attach standing desk legs to this same countertop so i will have the same countertop but i'll just be changing legs on my desk so i can stand up during long sessions and stretch and edit whenever i'm getting tired of sitting i can stand up and get that stretch so that is my setup wrapped up in a nutshell man i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got any questions about anything feel free to leave a comment down below don't roast me on my cable management i know it is very very poor but i do plan on changing my entire desk setup so i don't feel like there's a point in doing my cable management just to take it down and have to redo it all over again in a short amount of time again the links for everything i'll try to put the links for everything down in the description so so if you want to buy anything feel free i also got some nice little led lights on my desk it's not nothing fancy like govi but it's just some amazon led light strips and so you know so that's just a nice way for you to add a little pizzazz to your own setup but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel i appreciate you for stopping by feel free to subscribe down below and i will catch you guys in the next one